Now, a lot of times you hear about people saying that they've been initiated, pastors have initiated them, the whole nine hajjahs. You kind of hear those stories a lot and you think, what truth is there to some of these things? But in this video, we're going to look at Nana Poku doing, telling someone he's about to go through a ritual before the church, by the way. And he actually tells him what the ritual is and what it's going to achieve. Papa. Where are you from? What's my guy? I'm, I'm from Eastern Cape. Eastern Cape? Yes. You came alone? Who's away at Papu? Yes. You came alone? Yes. No. But now I'm residing in Sky City. So he calls him out here like Ricky, there's nothing there. Mm, wait. Can I talk to you? I call me now. Yes, you can, Pastor. You like me too much. I'm turned to prophet. This guy is telling people that I'm his brother. Is it true? Yes, it is. He's, he he liked me too much. Um, this. this guy was working for one pastor. He had been working for three years. When a certain small problem came. When the pastor chased this guy out. He, cut and this guy told himself that. Was I'm going to Nanapoku. He will help me. To become a prophet. Oh, yes. Take the handkerchief. I'm going to help mm, They are having a nice conversation. Ricky, what's your problem? What initiation? This guy wants to become a prophet. Yeah. Yeah. That's the reason why. Why he came here? He na Yes, it, it I'll help you, okay? Yes, Papa. You are a young guy. Man. When God started blessing, I will make you get a big church. Uzo choli swandel ku. Tsaya. That's all you inside, ne? Kona lo kono mukare. Don't let anybody touch this handkerchief. This guy inga banja moon. Put it under your pillow. It's been a part of time. Twelve o'clock. Mm. Twelve jan. The same twelve. Use it to wash your face one, two, three, we seven, seven, seven times. Seven. Anything you start seeing, it doesn't even when you shout and run away, you get mad. You say you want the prophecy. Yes, Pastor. Hmm? Yes, Pastor. Number, number. number. Prophesy, Papa. Omega. Yes, Papa. I said 12 o'clock. What 12? You must use this handkerchief. Mm. Open the eyes. Who's the swelling? I have swelling. I have swelling. I have for seven times. Mm. I have swelling. When you finish, okay. Okay. I know you stay with the mother. We have swelling no more. Anything that is touching, in the open eyes. Shout or run. Mm. Mm. That that shout when you the madness has begun. I have to call sign. Be very careful. Captain. So whatever you are seeing, sit down and make sure. In the open eyes, what do you I will be. It's like you're scared. No, I'm not. I'm just shy. You shy? Yes. You are shy. Yeah. I'm shy. Brother, it's the last one. You know, vision, people don't see. You know, that's why I said this young boy, they want mm. vision. They don't know. Yes. But you understand that? Oh, my God, it's usually, usually happening to you. Yeah. You stand up, you see that the, the, the ground has opened. My mother, my mother is telling that I'm going to fall in the... I'm going to fall in the... Everybody will know that. Uh, you think it's a physical mm. thing. Mm. So, brother, please, I beg you. Yeah, I if you know you run away, give me a handkerchief. Because when you get, when you get mad, the family will disturb me. You won't run. I won't run away. Bang! There you go. As as you know, there was one particular Nigerian guy. He was very popular for saying, bang, da 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 <laughs> Then, bang, da 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 you will get it there. He says it straightforward. You're gonna go mad after you receive. After you do this ritual, you're gonna go mad. That is the classic definition of a ritual, and it's not Christian. Now, someone just go back to the Bible to some of the things that they might actually use them. But I'm gonna tell you of a religion that has this that is actually not even close to being Christian. Now. In the Bible, someone might go back to the Samuel situation where, you know, the protege is asking the leader, hey, I heard a voice, is it you who called me? And he goes back a couple of times before the leader realizes, excuse me, you're not hearing my voice, you're hearing God's voice. And he said, no, next time you hear that voice, respond and say, here I am. You'll remember that situation. So can you apply that situation to this one? Uh, no, this one is just plain going mad. Now, that situation is very different because you do see references of it in the Bible. In the Moses situation where you have this voice speaking to Moses amongst the Israelites. The Israelites are so scared. They say, please go speak to your God. We don't want to hear that. That's scary stuff. Then you see that same reference within the New Testament when the voice speaks uh, from heaven. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. 
while he's doing the baptism, but also later on in the, in the temple when he's going towards his uh, trial period and he is in the temple and the voice speaks again from heaven and they thought it was thunder, they confused it for something else. Can you say that this is similar to that? No, it's not even close because this situation, you can hear the situation of Samuel and the whole Nan Hajjaz in the Bible is very consistent in the whole narrative okay uh, you do have the same uh, the similar aspect of it when you come to Paul when he gets confronted by the Messiah and he sees him but the others don't see him but they can see the experience happening to Paul they can see what's happening to Paul but they don't see anything around him and so this is not the same what you're hearing here is a person literally supposed to go mad in order for them to receive this gift now where which religion did i say has this similar uh, kind of a pattern where a person literally goes mad before they get a gift or as they are getting the gift islam in islam muhammad is actually recorded within the islamic tradition the islamic writings to have heard this thing this this angel and he thought it was a demon he was convinced it was a demon uh, because he, there was a point when he wanted to throw himself off the mountain. There was points when he felt like he was being choked and he ran away. He thought this was a demon which he met in the caves over there. And when he gets back, his wife, Khadija, is it Khadija, the businesswoman, she convinced him, the rich woman, she convinced him, no, you're, you're a prophet. Now remember, she was not a Christian. She was a Catholic and she m mistook this to be, yeah, you're called. It's a sign that you're called. Little did uh, he, we know that the, the gentleman would go over there to exaggerate every single little claim that he wanted to be part of his religion. And so the situation where a person loses their mind or is almost at a point of losing their mind happens in Islam. And it's with Muhammad as he's getting the prophet's uh, uh, his, his message to becoming a prophet so the same way this young man must go mad in order for him to get this thing of prophecy is it prophecy no it's not <laughs> what are you people up to over there okay this is clearly not christian you can see it within islam you can see it over there the similar the similar aspects of what is happening around the whole thing it's similar to Islam, but it's not similar in Christianity. It's not the same way. We do not handle information just about the same way. But yeah, tell me what you think down in the comment section. It's the Christianity Show, the Daily Christian Commentary videos. And if you are here, happy Friday mm -hmm. as we prepare for the Shabbat and we do the live stream. So I will definitely be here, y'all, without a doubt. Other videos down to the channel. Check out the rest of the channel. You might like some of the stuff that we have. If it's the first time coming over here, please do give this video. A like does help it out in the algorithm. Y'all be blessed. Salute. Your face one, two, three, seven, seven, seven times. Seven. Anything you start seeing. It doesn't even. When you shout and run away, you get mad. Oh, like... You say you want the prophet. Yes, Pastor. Hmm? Yes, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. <laughs> number, number. <laughs> Professor Papa. Omega. Yes, Papa. I said 12 o'clock. What 12? You must use this handkerchief. Mm. Open the eyes. Who's swinging? I have swing out seven. Work on it for seven times. Mm. Out seven. When you finish, okay. Okay. I know you stay with the mother. We have to say no more. Anything that is that scene, in the open eyes, shout or run. Mm. Mm. That's that's shout when you bail it. The madness has begun.